Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. So this lesson is part two on systems of equations. This one is elimination. Part one in the series was on substitution to solve systems of equations. Part three is graphing. Links are in the description below. So a system of equations, if you weren't here for part one, means like imagine you have a friend who comes up and says, I have just the most awesome riddle in the world to you, to, to say to you, and it involves math. Do you want to hear it? And you being a nice friend, instead of saying, uh, no, you go, sure, let me hear your math riddle. And he says, I am thinking of two numbers. If I add them together, they equal 12. If I multiply the first number by two and the second number by three, it equals 27. That's a weird seven, isn't it? Yeah. 27. What are my two numbers? That is what a system of equations is. I am thinking of two numbers. Here are two equations that are both true. What are the numbers I'm thinking of in so many terms? Now in the previous video, part one, go over there. The previous video, we talked about solving by substitution. This is, uh, we can solve the exact same equation using this process, elimination. To keep them straight, think about what the word elimination means when we're not talking about math. To eliminate means to get rid of, for it to be gone. If you are in a tournament and you have elimination rounds, like which teams are eliminated, which ones are gone, that's what we're doing. As I mentioned in part one, the goal is always to get rid of one of the variables in one of these equations. And then we can solve for that variable. For instance, if I have x plus y equals 12, there's literally an infinite number of combinations that that could be. It could be as much as like 0 0.0001 for x and 0 0.99999 for y. You could, I mean, there are literally infinite possibilities. So there's no way of knowing, but if I can get rid that would help if that was an eraser, wouldn't it? If I could get rid of one of those variables and just have x plus 5, for example, equals 12, well, shoot, that's easy. Now I can do it. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get rid of one of these variables. So the elimination method is that I want to add the equations together to add the equations together. So let's take a step to the side, just make sure everyone's on the same page. Um, let's just scoot this over here. When we talk about adding equations together, why is that something we can do? We say like five plus two equals seven and three plus six equals nine and go, I'm going to add these equations together. I can do that. Let's see what happens. Five plus three is eight. Two plus six is eight. Seven plus nine is 16. Is this still true? Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. And I can always do that because what's on the left side and what's on the right side are equal. This is equal to that. And this is equal to that. So if I'm adding these two together and adding these two together, I'm adding things that are equal, it's going to be the same. If we want to use like a visual representa representation of this, like let's say if an a horribly drawn apple, it's <laughs> awful, an apple plus a an orange equals an apple and an orange. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that would work here and I'm just failing miserably. All right, so an apple and an orange equals an apple and an orange. And I go, okay, well, an apple and a banana equals an apple and a banana. All right, what if I added both sides together? I've got two apples there. 
I'm really going to just sketch these out because it's just awful. Two apples plus an orange and a banana equals two apples, <laughs> an orange. It's not letting me draw an even horrible orange. Oh, it's the, I'm bumping the mouse. That's it. It's my fault. It's not my computer. I'm sorry, computer. I didn't mean to blame you. For once, it wasn't your fault. Okay. They're both the same on both sides. Since this is the same and that is the same, you know, it can it can all be added. So that that's the point I'm trying to make. I hope that didn't add confusion. So because that's the same, I can actually add over here on the left. Let me get rid of all this. I can add equations. Well, if I add it as they are, it doesn't really help. So let's say I added these things together. And we're going to just like I going to do just like I just did and add them. So if I added that together, I get 3x because that's x plus 2x, then y plus 3y is 4y and 12 plus 27 is 39. Well, I suppose that's interesting in an academic sort of way that here's yet another thing that is true about these numbers. I'm sure the man with the math riddle would find it awesome. Wow, if I multiply the first one by 3 and the second number by 4, I get 39. Isn't that just the coolest? It doesn't help. We want something that eliminates, that gets rid of one of these equations. So let's make that go bye-bye. We don't need that. It's not helpful. All right. Well, what if I took this top equation and I multiplied everything by a negative 1? I did negative 1 times everything. What would I get? I get negative x plus a negative y equals a negative 12. I'm like, okay, what if I added that? Well, I'm getting closer. I got rid of one of the x's. Okay, and that's slightly interesting, but it's not eliminated. So I'm guessing you can see where we're going with this. Back, 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 back it up, back it up, back it all the way up. Okay, so we need to make it so that it's going to cancel out something in the other equation. So here, instead of multiplying by negative 1, I'm going to multiply by negative 2 because that will make this negative 2x which will cancel out or eliminate the positive 2x. So let's multiply and we're going to distribute essentially <laughs> is what I'm doing. That's just a little visual. I'm multiplying everything here by negative 2. So okay, I'm going to put this in purple. Ooh. So that gives me negative 2x plus a negative 2y equals negative 24. Well now if I bring these over, look you what we have here. Things are going to cancel out if I add this together. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0x, so that's just gone. Negative 2y plus 3y is positive y, and 37 plus Oh, 37, like, wow, something went horribly wrong. What horribly, what went horribly wrong is I can't write. 27 plus a negative 24 is a positive 3. So y equals 3. And now I can go back up to my equation up there that says x plus y equals 12. And I go, ah, I know what y is now. y is 3. And then... That's a very straightforward algebra problem. Algebra problem. I can subtract 3 from both sides. x equals 9. And if you watched the first part of this, you will remember, or not, I don't know, you might remember that these are the right answers. x equals 9 and y equals 3. Well, let's see, just for the sake of argument, to show you it doesn't matter which one you choose. Sometimes uh, students get really caught up in that, like, ah, did I multiply by the right one? Did I eliminate the right one? It doesn't matter at all. The 
The only time it matters is if your teacher or the test very specifically states, I want you to eliminate this thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies, allergies, allergies today. Um, but it doesn't matter mathematically. So let's do this real quickly and I can show you. So for instance, what if I wanted to eliminate the Y's? Okay, I've got positive 3Y. I want to make this the opposite. The opposite to cancel it out would be negative 3Y. So I'm going to multiply everything in here by negative 3. When I do that, boop, I get negative 3X plus negative 3Y equals negative 36. Then on my bottom, I'm just going to write this over, 2x plus 3y equals 27. Add everything. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. The y's cancel out. Negative 36 plus 27 is a negative 9. To get rid of those negatives, I multiply both sides by negative 1. x equals 9. Go back up there x plus y equals 12. Replace my x with 9. 9 plus y equals 12. Subtract 9 from both sides, y equals 3. Same answer. And if you really wanted to make life difficult for yourself, and you just love fractions, you could take the bottom one. You could do the bottom one too and make it be an elimination and it would still work because math is actually pretty cool. So what happens if I did that? Say, oh, I want this to eliminate that X. I'm going to multiply it by negative one half. You can do this. So I multiply everything by negative one half and I get negative X plus a negative three halves Y equals a negative 13 and a half or 27 halves. Okay. And then, sorry, I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to X plus Y equals 12. My X's cancel out. Y minus three halves Y is negative one half Y equals and 12 minus 13 and a half is negative one and a half. Then I would multiply both sides by the inverse by negative two. Let me scoot this over, scoot this over, scoot this over. Negative two, that's how you get rid of fractions by multiplying by the inverse. And I'm also getting rid of the negative at the same time. So that gets rid of that, that's positive y. And negative, and there's my negative, negative one half times negative two is a positive three. It always works. See, that's a little messier, it's not as straightforward but it still works and I'm not going to make you suffer by doing the three Y as well, but it works too. So you can do each one of these. It all works and you get the same answer of X equals nine and Y equals three. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below and I will do what I can to get back to them. Uh, if you enjoyed this or if it was helpful in any way, please like and share. It's very, very helpful to the channel. And if you're interested in any more videos on this, we're going to be putting them up on all the different uh, levels of math. Eventually it will take some time, but we'll get there in the end. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more of those. If you have a specific problem or a specific topic you'd like me to cover that hasn't been covered yet, please like, leave a comment and I will do what I can to get to that one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope this helped. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.